Fritz Darges was born on February 8, 1913, in Dulzburg, near Salzwedel, in the Kingdom of Prussia, within the German Empire. After finishing school, he volunteered to join the SS in April 1933. By 1934, he'd been selected to become an officer and attended the SS Junkerschule at Bad Tolls. After graduation in April 1935 he was promoted to second lieutenant. In 1936 he was named adjutant to Reichsleiter Martin Bormann. In May 1937, he joined the NSDAP, the Nazi Party, and in September that year, he was promoted to first lieutenant. In October 1939, he returned to the Waffen SS as a company commander in their Deutschland and Der Führer regiments in the SSVT. He fought in the Battle of France and was awarded the Iron Cross second class in July 1940, and promoted to the rank of captain. Dodges was then posted to the newly formed SS Division Viking, which took part in Operation Barbarossa, and he was awarded the Iron Cross first class in August 1942. In March 1943, he was appointed a personal adjutant to Adolf Hitler. He was assigned to the Führer Begleitkommando, an SS bodyguard unit that provided personal security for Hitler. He was then promoted to Lieutenant Colonel in January of 1944. It is reported that on July 18 that year, during a strategy conference at the Wolfschanze, Adolf Hitler's headquarters, a fly began buzzing around the room, landing on Hitler's shoulder and on the surface of a map several times, irritating him. One version of the story states that Hitler ordered Dodges to get rid of the fly, Dodges suggested that, as, it was an airborne pest the job should go to the Luftwaffe adjutant, Nils von Bailow. Another version of this story reports that Hitler noticed Dodges grinning when he looked up from the map, and another source claims he was snickering as Hitler looked up. There is another version of the story of Dodge's dismissal and transfer that involves him refusing to marry Eva Braun's sister Gretel, who was pregnant at the time. Regardless of what, if any, version is true, all versions claim that Hitler took Dodge's aside, personally dismissed him on the spot and had him transferred to the Eastern Front. In August 1944, Dodges returned to the SS Division Viking to replace Johann Mlenkamp as the commander of the 5th SS Panzer Regiment. It was while he was in command of this unit that, he was awarded the Knight's Cross for his actions on the night of January 4, 1945. The division was advancing towards Bixki, in Hungary, when it was stopped by the 41st Guards Rifle Division of the Soviet 4th Guards Army. Dodges initially probed the Soviet lines with a mixed Panzer and Panzer Grenadier Kampfgruppe, and succeeded in breaking through the lines at dawn. He ambushed and destroyed a Soviet task force, knocking out four 122mm guns, four 76mm anti-tank guns, 12 trucks and a few supply vehicles. He then attacked Regis Castle, forcing the garrison to retreat but his group was now surrounded by Soviet reinforcements and was forced to repel several attacks, they were relieved three days later by another group from SS Viking. There isn't much information about his life after the end of World War II. It's known that he worked as a car salesman after the war. In 2000, he appeared in the documentary, Hitler's Krigimostin. Shortly before his death, he stated that he thought Hitler was a genius and that, I served him and would do it all again now. Dodges also wrote a manuscript about his experiences as a member of Hitler's inner circle, with instructions that it be published after his death. Fritz Dodges died on October 25, 2009, in Cell, Germany, at the age of 96.